Hello students, today we are going to learn law of conservation of linear momentum. So it states that, very important, when vector sum of the external forces acting on the system of particles is zero. The total linear momentum of the system of particle is conserved. Very important statement. We are going to see the law of conservation of linear momentum uh, and in which it states that when vector sum of external forces acting on a system of particle is zero. Here we are talking only about external forces. We already know the uh, internal forces acting, net internal forces acting on the system of particle is equal, is already zero. Now, uh, the external forces acting on the system of particle, if we consider is equal to zero, then in that case, the total linear momentum of the system is conserved. So, before going, we just uh, recall forces are divi um, uh, divided into internal forces and external forces internal means if this is suppose this is a body and inside this the molecules are there so this is a a molecule this is b c and d a will exert a force in this direction and b will exert a force in this direction and as a result these forces are equal in magnitude but opposite in direction because of which the net internal net very important word the net internal force on this body is zero so you say also already the internal force is zero now if the external force is zero in that condition the linear momentum total linear momentum of the system is conserved that we are going to prove for that we will consider a body consider a body containing n number of particles of masses m1, m2, mn and one more is there summation of all the masses if i is equal to 1 to n mi is equal to capital M where capital M is the mass of the whole body and these particles have velocities v1, v2, vn respectively due to external force because if the particle is moving means this object is moving in this direction means it is only because of the external force this particle is having um, velocities and that too v1, v2, v3, vn respectively. Then the total linear momentum of system is given by p bar is equal to p1 bar p2 pn bar 
P is the mo momentum. So we can write as this is for the first particle m1 v1 bar plus m2 v2 bar m n v n bar since we know that momentum P is equal to product of mass into velocity. This we can write in a simple way i is equal to 1 to n. So we are using the summation m i v i bar. Let be equation number 1. Since internal mutual interaction force and external forces are acting on the body we will consider any ith particle so let us consider acting on the body let us dear consider ith particle then the total force then the total force on ith particle f f i there are two forces as i already told i is the ith particles the force on the ith particle external plus F I internal. Hence, total force on system of N particles is given by summation i is equal to 1 to n f f i bar is equal to summation i is equal to 1 to n f i external plus i is equal to 1 to n f i internal but again we know that if this is the ith particle and if this is jth particle ith will exert a force in this direction and jth will exert a force in this direction these two forces are equal and opposite to each other so f i j bar we are talking about internal force minus f j i bar we will re write the reason f i j bar is the force applied on the ith particle by the neighboring jth particle of the system which will be equal to the negative value of force applied on the jth particle by the neighboring 
ith particle of the system that is minus f i j i hence i is equal to 1 to n f i internal is equal to 0 we will substitute the, this is equation number 2 this is equation number 3 substitute this is 2 and this is 3 substitute 3 into thus total force F is equal to summation I is equal to 1 to n F I external this can be written as I is equal to 1 to n d upon dt times P i bar this is because of by Newton's second law of motion we will write for all particles d dt of p1 plus d dt of p2 d dt of pn now if no external force act on the body then f is equal to 0 that is d dt of p1 plus d dt of p2 d dt of p3 d dt of pn equal to 0 which implies we will take d dt common p1 p2 pn bar equal to 0 now we will integrate this when we will integrate this we will get p1 bar plus p2 bar pn bar is equal to constant very important statement thus the total linear momentum of system of nth particle remain constant if no external force acts on the system hence proof now we will consider one example example of conservation of linear momentum is when a bullet is fired from a gun the bullet of mass we will consider bullet of mass as equal to small m because of its size moves with velocity v bar and gun of mass gun, the mass of gun is uh, large compared to mass of bullet therefore we will consider it as capital M with velocity V bar therefore momentum of bullet in forward direction 
is equal to small m. This is momentum of bullet. Small m into velocity v bar. And momentum of gun in backward direction is equal to capital M into velocity of uh, let the velocity of bullet be denoted by small v then this is small and this is capital therefore m small v is equal to in the backward direction m the sum of momentum is m v plus capital m v equal to zero or we can say m v is equal to minus m v bar thus the momentum of the thus the momentum of the bullet and gun is same before and after firing firing that is linear momentum is conserved very important thank you